the kickers got the ball set up and we're ready to get this thing started. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. They give to the tailback. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. That makes it second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on the 21 yard line. And now he pitches it. And he makes it on to about the 24 yard line. He takes the option pitch and gets two, maybe three yards. That makes it third and 11. Four down, four down. Seven's a Mike, Mike seven. And he hits him hard at the 34-yard line. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. <laughs> Falcons been talking with them this week, Kirk. It's just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches but the player himself, and I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. Defense looking for another sack here on the second and 13 situation. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. That'll make it third and 13. Okay, tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Here we go. Watch go. 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 He's pushed out of bounds at the 41. This guy's got the combination of smarts and reliability that makes a receiver really dangerous. No wonder he's looked to on third down. And down he goes at the 47-yard line. So the run goes for a big first down. The offensive line opened up some nice lanes to run through as well. Nice play. Fires out to his receiver. And they make the stop at the 37. That'll make it second and inches. Fakes to the back. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. That makes it first and goal. Nice run, and he's brought down. The tailback picks up six there on the misdirection. That brings in second and goal. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Good effort there by the receiver, but just not enough room for him to get a foot down in bounds. And this is the play of the drive. Touchdown, Falcon. Time you're near the goal line. And he adds the extra point. So a nine play, 75 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. So our score. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Falcons are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about getting off to a great start. 
defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Under heavy pressure. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. From their own 27-yard line, second down. Gets it to the back. He gets hit out of bounds at the 35. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. That'll bring up third and six. He's scrambling. He's at midfield. He's taken down at the 44-yard line. Terrific execution by the entire offense to make that run work and to get the third down conversion. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 44. Five yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He gets out to about the 35 yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Four down, four down. Seven to Mike. Mike seven. Black five. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. They'll bring him down at the 16-yard line. This is the ninth play of the current drive. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. The Falcons lead 7-0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Mike seven, Mike seven. Red two. Pitch out, got the corner. Decent run here, right side. They've looked good so far on third down in this drive. Let's see what happens here. And he's immediately tackled. Well, they're living on the edge here a little bit, but you know, they're converting when they have to. And this is the 12th play of the drive. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. Tosses it out. Touchdown, Penn State! Things 
can get pretty fierce in this territory, but they look totally in control there. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. It was a 12th play, 75-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of center. We're even at seven in this one. Penn State to kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. at the 45-yard line. That's a game of 20 in play. First down. Give to the tailback. And he is drilled at the 45. Game of 10 yards. That brings us second and nine. He gets another carry. He makes it to the 38-yard line. That makes it second and six. Here's the halfback. He's tackled around the 37-yard line. They push him out at the 25-yard line. Calling a screen will sometimes slow down the pass rush. So if you're playing a team that likes to blitz a lot, this is one way to get them out of that. First and 10. Ball on the 25. Throws out. Got his back again. They'll knock him down for a loss. Loss of about two. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. This is the eighth play of this drive. And he's tackled at the 20 yard line. Number three makes the tackle at the 20 yard line. That'll bring up third and four. And he's level at the 26. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Bowling Green is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and he nails the long field goal. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 10-7, Bowling Green. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. And he's taken down around the 38-yard line.
Brad, I just think Brad did a much better job with that defense and make decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Tackle made at the 46. Nice play across the middle. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. goes out of bounds at the 44. That makes it second and eight. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. From the 30-yard line, first down. Kill, kill, kill. And they make the stop at the 25. This is smart, efficient play call. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Boy, this defense is doing a great job of bringing pressure. That time they brought a blitz and allowed the defensive line to break loose and get to the quarterback. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Four down, four down. Seven to Mike. Mike, seven. Green nine, green nine. Go. Pressure got to him, and he put it on the ground. It's recovered. Close one there. Maybe the ball carrier will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Penn State is looking to tie things up. He gets it up, and he just drilled it from long range. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both defenses really played well so far, Herbie. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Up the middle for a nice game. That makes it second and six. We've played a half. This one's all even at 10. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Tied at the half, each team's move has been countered by the other. So far, nobody's been able to establish checkmate or really even generate much momentum. So what is each team, what's the most important thing for the second half for one team to gain an edge in this game? 
Well, it seems like there has been an answer. And at some point, you know, you just got to get your offense and defense both working together. You know, when you do score, how about you get a stop so you can get your offense back and continue to add to the lead. And sometimes it's hard. Sometimes, you know, the, the game swings and it goes one way and you can't stop it. And then it comes back the other way. So I think maybe it's a special teams play. You know, maybe it's something off the radar that, that you're used to. Maybe a big punt return, a block punt. But so far, the offenses and defenses seem even. Maybe you can get an edge on the special teams. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kurt, ready for the second half. All right, guys, welcome back. Second half just about set to start, and we're dead even. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down at about the 41. Got him. And he goes down quickly. Game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Nice play fake. Gets it out to the back. First down. Brought down at the 38. Number 43 with the tackle at the 38 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. That makes it second and six. Makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. That's a Throws complete. He's got space to work. Man, did he ever sell the run? The defense took the bait, and that hesitation was enough to give the receiver room to make the catch. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 12. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense in getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. And this play is number eight on the drive. Bring him down at the two yard line. That's a Fires quickly, touchdown. He hits the PAT. A nine play, 75 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Bowling Green kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 25. Mike seven, Mike seven. Black, black. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. Right, 
Complete tackle right around the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line. First down. Black five, black five. He's on the run. He's tackled around the 40-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. About the 43 yard line. Third down. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Three down, three down. Mike seven, Mike seven. Go! And he hits him hard at the 47. Here's the eighth play of the series. He makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That brings up second and From the 26 yard line. Second down. 87's getting the ball. 87's getting the ball. Mike Sack. Throws out to the tight end again, completes. Here's play number 10 on the drive. the middle and nothing there. It looked like he might pick up a head of steam and get the first, but the defense collapsed on him before he could get there. So it's fourth down and the offense is still on the field. And this is what power football is all about, folks. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. First and goal, and if they can execute, we'll be all tied up. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. The safety came up from the secondary and made a nice, solid tackle. Brings up second and goal. And here's the 14th play of the drive. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike seven, they put everyone up on the line. Touchdown, Penn State. And that's his second touchdown of the day. The defense has to come out and make a stop on the next drive so this offense can get to work again. They aren't out of this game yet. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 14-play, 74-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This game is all tied up, 17. Wow, close game here, and up and down the field with both these offenses matching what the other's done. Well, it's fun to watch each offense get an opportunity to go out and make plays, and you're right, you almost feel as, as if one offense feels challenged and has to be able to bounce back, and they've done that. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. you got to make every possession count. Three down, three down. Yeah, check. Hey, Mike. Hey, no, no, let's switch to Mike right here. Go Mike 40. Yeah. 40. Yo, no. Yo, no. Yo, no. Yo, no. And 
they get him in the backfield for a loss. So with one quarter remaining, good game here, 17-17. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He's to the 40. That's a great tackle at the 43. That's good for the 19 yards. First down. There's a strike complete. He's down. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. Quick, he's got another one, and he's immediately tackled. Game and eight on the play. That makes it first and ten. Four down, four down. Mike Forty, Mike Forty. Out of bounds, right around the 36-yard line. That's a game of four. That makes it second and six. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. They get about seven yards on the pass and pick up a first down. And still, this gunslinger hasn't missed a receiver yet on this drive. We've got a first and 10. Ball of the 29. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. And he's level at the 22. A seven-yard gain that time from the play-action pass completion. That'll bring up second and three. Inside the 10. Nice grab on the play. Big play, and it's first and goal. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. He scrambled. Tackle made at the four. That brings him second and goal. Touchdown, Falcons. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out on the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Seven to Mike. Fires out to his wide end. And down he goes at the 35-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Less than three minutes in the game. He lost the ball, picked up by the defense. And they make the stop at the 37. Boy, the end really showed some explosiveness there in getting to the loose ball. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Yeah, 
Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's taken down at about the 27-yard line. That'll make it second and in inches. that quickly incomplete so it's third down and they're just inches away from picking up the first down tackled for a loss the lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down and once he gets moving there's no stopping him this guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy the kick is up. It's got the distance. And he got it. The Falcons and their coaching staff have got to be all smiles over there on the sideline. All their preparation has come to fruition. How nice is it for a coaching staff to see a plan come together? They had an outstanding plan throughout the game, but at the biggest moment, they found a way to get their go-to guy to football the most, and he was able to deliver. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Falcons have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a record reckless attitude and it's really paid off because it set up their offense to be able to score points the last time the offense had it they lost a fumble so i'm pretty sure the coaching staff was over there talking about ball security anytime you give the ball away it's a disappointment so these guys want to show that they can hang on to it just under two minutes in the game There's the strike complete, and he's tackled right away. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense, and in this case, he did. Nice job. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Four down, four down. Mike seven, Mike seven. Red two. He lets it fly. Makes the catch, and he might take it to the 20. And they push him out at the 14-yard line. You can chalk that one up to the hundreds of passes the quarterback has thrown to this receiver in practice. These guys know and trust each other, and you can see it in the way he threw that pass. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and 10. gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Hold this. Thank you. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Number 85 was the intended receiver. Third down again. That brings us third and 10. Black five. He's wrapped up for the sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he nails the long field goal. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. Under a minute left in the game. Makes it to the 31. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. First and 10. Ball in the 31. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. Let's go, Z. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Mike, 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 Mike,
And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. Bowling Green staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happier. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so.